Hey folks, PZOTCAS here, back with more Sacrilege, the pure vampire playthrough, and I think what we're going to do is try, um, teleporting to Dalaran's Tower. Ooh, that's a nice effect. Hey, hey. Oh god. Ah. Uh, what the hell is going on? Oh boy. We got a Dwarven Spider? Okay. I can drain dwarven spiders now, so that's good. Oh. Did I did I die in the front? No, I'm I'm good. Good? Good? Good. Is there any other enemies? Oh man, a lot of these are close quarters. Search skeleton. Some gold. Chest. More gold. And apparently this is marked as stealing, but the boots aren't. Uh, whatever. That is counting of the scrolls. An accounting of the Elder Scrolls by a former Imperial librarian. After the supposed theft of the of an Elder Scroll from our Imperial library, I endeavored to find any sort of index or catalog of the scrolls in our possession so that such situations may be avoided or at least properly verified in the future. To my dismay, I discovered that the moth priests are notoriously inexact when it comes to the actual physical manifestations of the scrolls and had no idea how many they held or how they were organized. Isn't that absolutely crazy? I guess these, these scrolls are not just ordinary books, right? I wonder if we'll ever find out what, what the scrolls really are. That... I would like to take that blood potion, but it's also marked as stealing. Um, probably not, because uh, Todd did just say that they're not going to ever reveal the, um, the, um, what happened to the dwarves. So if they're not even going to do that, I doubt, I doubt that, um, that we'll ever really know what the Elder Scrolls are either. That is a lot of books. Okay. A lot more books. Journal. I know it was Sakara the first that first found these caverns for our new home, but someone ha was here long before us. The more areas we excavate, the more Dwemer artifacts we find. I have to find out what was going on here. I found several steam pipes in the mine and sewers that still function. Some are broken and are filled with a strange flammable gas. I'll have to be more careful. The Dwemer weapons we've found so far are uninteresting, but I care more about why they are here in the first place. We haven't found any of the large sprawling ruins normally associated with the dwarves. Some destroyed spheres and a centurion have been moved to the tower for safekeeping. The key has been found. It looks to be Dwemer, but I can't find anything that can be used that it can be used on yet. But I am hopeful. I sleep very little now, and even my thirst is diminished. I need to research more. I need to explore our cavern in more detail. I cannot seem to restore power to the broken centurion we found. I'm certain it can could give us more information about what the Dwemer were doing here so long ago. I've heard some rumors about mysterious noises coming from the sewers that run beneath our city. One woman even claims she saw, I would imagine that's supposed to be, saw a creature that tried to grab at her. Ridiculous. I will go and explore them to see what I can find. Who knows, maybe there will be some relics I can find along the way. I've made a crude map of the sewers and shared it with our guards and the new so sovereign sovereigna. I have a few more areas to explore, but I grow bored with killing a bunch of slimy skeletons and wading through black water. Yeah. Uh, map of the sewers. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much what we discovered before. The two areas I have noted on the map. Okay, there's two question marks. Um, are of particular interest. The flooded tunnels are unexplored, and I need 
to investigate around the bridge as well. Some areas of the sewer system were here before us, but who, what constructed them? Oh, so that's what the key is gonna, the, the, that key is gonna get us in there, isn't it? Into that door that was being protected by the centurion. I searched through all the dirt and rock we excavated while building Cold Haven. The amount of Dwemer ar artifacts we found was surprising. I estimate several hundred pounds of scrap at least. In the sewers, we found parts of a centurion and we have components for at least two spheres. I found some etchings on metal plates, but nothing that was complete. Some random words translated to health and construct. Or construct. Uh, while mining, some of our Falmer workers broke through a wall into a shallow alcove. It appeared to have once been a tunnel, but it was collapsed at both ends. It will take a lot of time to move the sheer amount of rock blocking the old tunnel. For now, I am fascinated by what, by what we did find. In the alcove were a few pieces of dwarven armor, a dagger, and an ancient book, with pages so brittle they crumbled in our hand like dried leaves. I couldn't read any of the book at first, so I focused on carefully laying out pages one by one. It was a te tedious task, and it took months, but it was well worth it. I couldn't be certain, but the book seemed to be some sort of scientific journal, a diary of sorts, which outlined the methodology of an investigation. I was unable to translate all the words, but I could make out general meanings and vague guidelines. The author, Soth Sothran, outlined experiments that he and his colleagues were performing on what I understand to be vampires. I think my translation was correct. They sought to permanently transfer life essence from one being to another. I saw diagrams and pictures of what I, I assume was the heart of Lorcan and some other references to anatomy. I assume Sothran and his comrades were trying to find some sort of path to eternal life. What could they possibly have wanted with vampires? Mortals assume we are dis diseased and look at, a, look at us with disgust. Is it possible the Dwemer or maybe just these researchers saw something profitable in our, ex in our existence? A few days ago, one of the cattle working the fields dug up an old key. It's undoubtedly Dwemeri. I haven't found any doors or chests in Coldhaven that, might, that it might open, but I'm excited at the prospect. I gave it to Sovrina Tamara, Tamara for safekeeping. A lot of our artifacts are stored in the vault. I encourage the Falmer to focus their efforts on the collapsed tunnel in the mine, and I will check the sewers in more detail. There are so many clues, yet even more mysteries. Interesting. Very interesting. He's got stuff on Dwemer. Uh, and then... Founding of Coldhaven by Sovrina Sakara. How long is it? Pretty done a lot of reading. Okay, this isn't too bad. Coldhaven was founded by a small but dedicated group of vampires. The most notable figures in Coldhaven's founding war were Galane, Dalarian, and myself, Sakara. I originally discovered a cave while investigating Dwemer artifacts in the area. My research, along with the, the assistance of hundreds of Falmer workers, helped us unblock helped us unblock the passages that led to the enormous underground cavern. My magic, along with that of Galane and Delarian, uh, helped reshape the stone to our purposes. While Cold Haven was being constructed, many Dwemer artifacts were uncovered and some strange passageways were partially excavated. Galane was particularly interested in some of the ancient Dwemer technology. But his curiosity was pushed aside as we focused on the enormity of building a vampire city. As construction neared completion, Dalaran uh, began to study arcane magic and Dwemer technology with more fervor than Galane had ever shown. It bordered on, on obsession. Galane traveled above ground, gathering information about mortal conflicts and the growing threats of the vigilance of Stendar and the Dawn Guard. I recruited many vampires under the banner of Coldhaven and was instrumental in populating the cavern. I am the architect of the city's organization and worker system. At first Sovrina, as first Sovrina of Coldhaven, I try to rule over our citizens with strength and our safety is my, prior, my primary concern. Coldhaven remains a closely guarded secret. Very few vampires even know of its, of its existence. Visitors are welcome, but many mortals refuse to stay long and fear for their lives. 
Most of our visitors are traders and merchants, and our coffers grow daily. Admittedly, some of our, mar our mortal guests do end up drained, so maybe their concerns are valid. <laughs> yeah, you think? Maybe just a little? Okay, anything in there? Some gold, a bunch of stuff that we would be stealing. And a ruined... Ruined Dwemer Journal? Well, that's very specific. Okay, so... Report to tomorrow. Activate rune. Ooh. Teleport back out. Uh, okay, okay, yep, yeah, this is good. Uh, what's the fastest way to get down here? That's pretty cool. So that key most likely opens that door. Yes, sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess. Man, there's, there's a lot yes, of you. Sir. Thank goodness I have that uh, no collision uh, mod installed. What can I do for you? Well, I visited Delarn's tower and found what he was researching. He really thought the ancient Dwemer were doing experiments on vampires somewhere around here. That sounds ridiculous. Sure, we found a lot of Dwemer trinkets, scrap, a few weapons, even pieces of uh, animunculi, but nothing has led me to believe these theories. Delarin was convinced, though, wasn't he? I respected the man, and I can't so easily discount what he concluded. Perhaps he was onto something. He mentioned that he gave you a key for safekeeping. Why, yes, he did give me an old key. You can have it if you like. I assume you'll continue Delarin's research? It seems foolhardy, but good luck. Continue his research. Strange Dwemer key. I now have the key that Delarin gave to Sovrina Tamara to keep safe. I will continue his investigation into the strange Dwemer activity in this area. Somewhere there's a chest or a door that this key opens, and I'm going to find it. Okay, well, it's most likely the thing in the sewers, so... Probably. First of all, I gotta find the damn sewers again. Um, did it pop up by any chance at all? Staircase to the sanctuary. Hmm. No, it doesn't actually show up. Okay, so it was along the wall. Be kind of a behind, not that. Along the wall over here, kind of behind a thing. What the hell is that? Oh, that's one of those, those blood things. Blood, blood version of um, the thing where you get the, the thorax off of it. Okay, so we need to go. Um. There. Uh, let's try. It's gonna be really hard in these quarters, but let's try being a vampire lord. Oh god, that's definitely not gonna work. Nope. Dude, that's really too bad. Um, no. Right, well, we'll try a vampire drain, I guess. I'm gonna go that way. Yeah. I'm gonna activate a bunch more of these damn things. Are they. We clear them out. So many damn bones. So many bones. And I think there's still a slaughterfish down here. Yeah, there he is. Hello. 
just passing through. Feel free to nom on all the bones and things. Whatever. Hmm. Should maybe... Oh. Oh no, you, you've got it. Okay. Got that. You have got that, bro. Uh, I think it was up. If I remember right. I don't think there was anything down. Oh, the body is gone. That's sad. There's still steam coming out of this thing. Hey, it is a abandoned Dwemen, Dwemer laboratory elevator. What's the stuff on the floor? It kind of makes it look like it's like some sort of marble or something. Yeah, it's supposed to be like cobwebs, dirt. Nothing. Well, hello, Dwemer thingies. Ready to die, all of you. Oh. Well. Okay, there's a... Really? I am absorbing life force from these things? Okay, that, that might be slightly buggy. I love how Azel just gets, like, mashed down into the ground. <laughs> okay. Senses... Ooh, yeah, let's try that. Maybe it'll, it'll warn me that there's trouble. Come on, dude. the Dwemer, Dwemer, I mean I got the um, Conjure Gargoyle going. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I've completely forgotten to, uh, completely forgotten to go and get a, what's it called? I have completely forgotten to go and activate, I was going to try activating the Ritual Stone and maybe have two Gargoyles. See if that works. But no, okay. Well, that's some interesting computer sort of looking things. Yes. Oh, there's activate a switch. Hey, glad you could join us. I activate that. No. This might be easier to do in uh form. Okay, there is a heart. It looks suspiciously like maybe the heart of Lorcan or something. I do you like being in vampire lord form because it's so much more powerful? But I don't. I can actually activate that. Nope. Oh, it's fine. Alright, let's have a look with Dwemer Constructs. Test with... Worth it. Uh, there's... Oh! Whoops. Um. Oh. Oh, hello. This is... Where exactly is this? This is this is part of Cold Haven, yes, yes. Maddie's house? Random. Did 
this is Sakura's house. It's like right here. Interesting. Okay, what's this? Gem fragment. And a broken leaper. Ah, okay. Well, I hope I can go back. No, I can't. I can't activate it from here. No. Ah. Really? Ah. Well, that stinks. I go to Natty's house. Oh. Disguised vigilant. What? Oh. Um. Okay. I'll just let you guys do it. So red in here. That because of how it is. Well, sort of. You're absorbing from my uh from my gargoyle. That's Maddie. Are you just practicing? Is this supposed to be like a fight? What, what exactly is going on here? I'll kill you if I have to. I'll kill you where you stand. Vampire guards of Coldhaven are renowned for their ferocity. That's an enchantment. Infiltration orders. Okay. And uh, no, on that. Uh, let me look at these infiltration orders, though. We have no idea if the rumors of a vampire city are true or not. We've sent a dozen scouts, including yourself, across... You know, could we maybe not have the combat music? Um, including yourself across Skyrim to determine if a new threat is rising. Your orders are to gather information and report back to the vigil as soon as you can. Do not take any actions which may reveal your identity or purpose. If the city truly exists, try to secure a nondescript observation post and we will send reinforcements to populate it. These vampire abominations may enjoy a brief taste of power if they have a quote-unquote city, but we will ensure any and all threats who prey upon Stendar's children are eliminated. Walk in the light. Okay, well that... What can I do for you? Um, it's so good to see you again. Yes. I found this note on your attacker. So that vigilant planned on killing me and using my home as a base of operations to spy in Coldhaven. I should do what? Uh, I mostly mind my own business. On occasion, I help bring in workers. I enjoy the stability of our, our city offers. It's my home now. I used to be a member of the noble house of, in Cyrodiil, but I don't want anything to do with intrigue or politics anymore. Two people that have given up uh, nobility be here. Interesting. Okay, so am I supposed to... Oh. Okay, well, whatever. That was strange. Go see if we can talk to Sakara. Can I help you? Hello, Sakara. Make it quick. I've heard some things about you. Listen, we're kin, so that's the only reason I never drained you the moment you walked in here. I'm not interested in being a zoo exhibit for you. No, no, you got me all wrong. I just wanted to ask you a few questions. Fine, then, what do you want to know? Um, you used to be the Sovereigna, right? 
Thank you for bringing up such a sensitive topic. Yes, I was Sovrina not that long ago. I helped found Cold Haven with, Del with Galane and Delarian. I'm the only one left now. Galane was killed by those damned Dawn Guard, and Delane got obsessed with his own research and it overwhelmed him. The noble houses deposed me. Our city was secure and everything its founders could have hoped for, but that bitch T Tamara stoked people's fears. Why is Tamara the so Sovrina now? She scared everyone with tales of doom and gloom. We have many enemies in Skyrim for certain, but this city is all we need for security now. Tamara brought new technology and superior weapons and armor to help defend all vampire, vampire kind. My fangs, something. It's worth, is it really worth staying here? This is my city, our city. There's no place I'd rather be. Even though I think Tamara and the nobles are all fools, I'm in this for the long haul. May take centuries, but everyone will realize tomorrow was full of it eventually. We're secure. We don't need to stay vigilant and hyper alert. Um, well, considering I just helped kill a Dawn Guard infiltrator. Oh, they were secure. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. I was kind of. Hello? I was kind of hoping for more, but I guess not. Do I really have to go all the way back through the sewers and stuff to get back in there? I can't believe. I've got uh, your whoops, no, not you. Oh, well, he's gone now. Uh, I can't believe I can't get back in here. That stinks. It's only, it's a one-way door? Like, really? Wait, is there a, no? But for a second, was maybe like a button. Oh, no, talk to Azel. No, definitely doesn't look like it. Well, crap. And we don't have anything for that, so. I guess it's back down for us. My. That's unfortunate. Oh, he's still alive. Make it quick. Poisoner? Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Got for sale. Colloidal silver, really? You sell vampire poisons. That's kind of interesting. Oh, I have a vampire cup. Oh, you really? You ran out of money already. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, fine. I'll have to send. I'm stuck. On mushrooms. What do you need? Is there another place where I can drop down by any chance? I could switch to vampire lord form, I guess. And no, we can just actually just drop like this, that's fine. And get caught on more mushrooms. <laughs> Are you with me, Azel? Good. Back to where we were. Oh, it's just telling me that there's an enemy over there. It's the, um... Ow. So, some of them are respawning. I wish I could kill this thing. Okay. Uh, let's try this. Where does this come out? Across from the the little lean-to thing. Okay. Well, that's a quicker way in and out.
Hang on. Ah. Ow. Ow. My ankles. I tell you guys, this playthrough has become much more involved than I ever intended. Okay, so that just leads out somewhere. Um, sure, take those. There's a button. I don't know if I should switch. Switch? What? Paper? No. Okay. Can I activate that? I can't actually activate this. Oh. Ah. Okay, that calmed down. Yeah, I definitely... Okay, now I'm literally inside the... Oh, there. Touch. Gwemer Heart Construction. has been increased and fully restored. Tell us more about the Dwemer lab. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Hey. Hmm. Now, this ring we used to teleport to a predetermined location. Okay. Um, yeah, this is probably better than going to my house. Oh. All right, down we go again. Destruction magic's fine. Don't go burning down any buildings. Burning? I've got vampire drains, sir. Hmm? Right. Alright. What might you need? Got some more info, girl. Yes? Yes. Uh, okay, first of all, Maddie was attacked in her home by a disguised vigilant. What? How could an enemy infiltrate our city so easily? I'll speak with the captain of the guard about his sloppiness. I will speak with the noble houses to inform them of the threat. I imagine Amari's little birds on the surface uh, will find out something. Uh, so and so is very skilled at opening portals. I would like to see the look on their f enemies. Oh, God. Perhaps even so-and-so will join the fight. He's been itching to spill blood. I feel no pity for those he'll kill. I hope they die slowly. Well, that was intense. Um, by the way, I also found an entire Dwemer lab that was hidden here in Coldhaven. I can't believe it. So Delarin was right. How could the founders have missed an entire Dwemer complex when Coldhaven was being excavated and built? I'm not sure I'm ready to share this information with the citizens of Coldhaven yet. I have to understand the risks this discovery may pose first. I would appreciate your discretion as well. Tell no one for now. Give me details of what you discovered, please. The Dwemer experimented with draining life and transferring it to themselves. That doesn't sound like any Dwemer research I've heard of before. Perhaps they were a fringe faction? Maybe. We'll have to research their activities ourselves. I'll send Nasaras there at once. Perhaps we'll find information to strengthen our city. As for you, your assistance has been invaluable. I present you with these gifts from the Tower of the Sovereigna. You're always welcome here. 
I'm certain the heads of the houses will want to speak with you now. Maybe even recruit you to their clans. Be careful what you share with them. Boots of Mist Wraith added? Okay. Bye. Walk with pride. Alright, what do we get? Bists. Bists. The boots of Mist Wraith. Sneaking's 40% better. You move quietly while these boots are worn. Okay, so we've got 40% improved sneak and muffle. But they look like crap. I mean, they would not go with my outfit in any way, shape, or form. Did I end up with so much junk? I should have you sell stuff, maybe. Talk to him still. Oh, that's it. That's... Huh. Okay. You want something from me? Well... No. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining me for this episode. We'll see you in the next one. You want something from me?